uh, uh, here we go. So the question is, is Josh Allen a great quarterback, Marcus? <sighs> Um, <laughs> in my opinion, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Set He's it off supremely then. talented, elite skill set. My definition of you being great is, and I think I think it should be a criteria. Okay, is how much you deliver in those moments that yeah. we saw last night. I think that has to be associated because we we can go through the history of the NFL and look at quarterbacks that threw for a lot of yards, threw a lot of touchdowns, played at a very elite level that we didn't consider great because they never had those moments. And I keep saying it. It's, it's, it's what I started the year on with Dak Prescott. Dak has played as well as anybody in the league over the last five weeks mm -hmm. of this season. You know why I ain't never called Dak great? Because he ain't never delivered in a great fashion. Mm -hmm. He's never walked it's off the field. It's about the moment as well. Absolutely. Because we are playing the margins. We're not playing if we all know Josh Allen is a really good quarterback. We all know that Patrick Mahomes is a great quarterback. Uh -huh. We all know that that we all know that Dak and Jalen Hurts are good quarterbacks. Jalen Hurts now is starting to enter into a conversation that he never was in before because he keeps delivering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You wouldn't say he throws better than Josh. Nope. You wouldn't say he is more, he, he can run it more as, dynamic. More dynamic. Nope. But he's entering the conversation because right. of what RC said. He keeps winning but that's in the, these situations. But that's the that's the thing, right? We have to start looking at what Josh Josh produces as opposed to the things that he can't control. And Scott, I know you were yeah. making that point in the meeting. It mm -hmm. was when Josh was asked to do a certain job, right. he did it. And he did it in an excellent way yesterday that made him look like the best player in the league. Well, he, he put it this way. I don't know what else the, he could have done outside of knowing the, the option route that Gabe ran. And, there's a, and, there, and as a quarterback, Robert, you'd know yeah. better than I. Yeah. I don't know if, if, if he has a fraction more time, is he going to read, oh, he's going to cut this out and I can find him, as yeah. opposed to I throw it to the inside. I don't yeah. know that part because I, I didn't play the game and you all did. Right, yeah. so what I will say is that, first of all, Josh Allen, amazing job at the press conference, right? Took it on the chin. You're supposed to. to. Took, took all the responsibility. I that that I was my, I, my mistake. I, it was an option, option route, route. And it was an option route. And Gabe Davis, if it wasn't cover zero, mm -hmm. ran exactly the route he was supposed to based off of the leverage of the guy that was guarding him. And this might be your option, but if you see cover zero, your job is to run that post, and that's where Gabe Davis was wrong. But I am proud of Josh Allen right. for taking full responsibility. So, so Scott, for I have it. a question for you. Okay. Right? If, if, I'm, if I'm showing the side the defensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh -huh. I say this. Uh -huh. Every time we've played coverage, Josh Allen has made the right the right decision all except once. Yep. Whether it's get the ball to the right person who is open yep. or use his legs to get the third down. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to put pressure on him because putting pressure on Josh Allen says in this moment, I'm making Josh Allen and Gabe Davis execute in the biggest moments of the game. How much does that play into factoring, okay, are you a great quarterback that is taking your team to the next level and doing the things in the moment you have to do. Right. That's a reasonable question, and I think what Marcus talks about <laughs> as he sips, the margins, I'm telling you that the margin between did Davis run what he should have or did Allen make the correct read and that the, the ball hits the turf instead of hitting his hands, and if yep. it hits his hands and they win, and we're saying he was great, and now we're saying he's not great because that happened. Mm -hmm. I want y'all uh -huh. to, uh -huh. to do it like the me. Do it. Uh, see, here, 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 language, language. Here, I'll own I'll it. Say. Language was used that was inappropriate because we were Stop. not, we I'll were not right. in a social setting. We were <laughs> yeah, in a yeah. work environment, and your man got heated because I'm saying I thought Allen was great yesterday. They didn't win. But, but, didn't but win. I agree with you, Scott. I thought that Josh Allen was great yesterday. Uh -huh. I thought he was, and I, I don't, too. and I don't think that the catch like or the ball guy. hitting the ground is a determining factor of whether or not he's a great quarterback. And I, I believe he is a great QB. Hmm. And but I, I greatness is subjective, RC. My question, my question. There you go. My question. Question. Come, on, on, greatness, come on now. Greatness is subjective, but we can look at Josh Allen, his talent, his skill set, uh -huh. his production, and say he can play at a level that can win a championship. Correct. The Buffalo Bills issue is making sure everyone is tied into that. Three times under 30 seconds they have had the lead in football games that ultimately they lost. We were there on Monday night where he gave them the lead uh, against Denver. Where Leslie Frazier at? Yep. Six and six is not a great record. I'll, I'll say that.